Praise God, praise God. I just want to quickly share some highlights with you as the Holy Spirit keep talking to me. One thing I needed to understand by the grace of God that in this journey of Christianity, as we follow Christ, there are a lot of things that are involved. One of it is fulfilling destiny. And um, I want to advise, do not confuse the fulfillment of promises with the fulfillment of destiny. They are different. The promises of God are yea and amen. They will surely come to pass. Amen. Promises were given as tools to fulfilling destiny. Promises were given to Abraham, for example, but destiny was fulfilled in Abraham. Right? And uh, in receiving the promise, you need no important part to play. But in fulfilling destiny, you have a major role to play. And a part of fulfilling destiny, character, your behavior or pattern, your way of life will be changed. And covenant will be established with you by God. Your character must change. That is typified in the name changing before destiny could be introduced to Abraham, who later became Abraham. And covenants between God and Abraham was also established in the path to fulfilling destiny. Now, fulfilling destiny is not about looking for a job that will pay your bills or that will feed you. It's about searching for what satisfies your spirit and soul. It goes and runs deep into your innermost being. This is what you're willing to do, either it pays the bills or not. It won't be about expanding your wardrobe. It will be about expanding your life of fulfillment. When you don't have such deep passion to fulfill, you have not found your destiny. You have not found purpose. You haven't found what you are actually born to do. And finally, know this, that time is a key that plays another major role in the path of fulfilling destiny. Do not waste your time in life pursuing what does not have eternal value. Pursue God and his purpose. God bless you.